What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode in our weekend review, although really this is going to be a 100,000 subscriber special. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this because honestly I wasn't expecting to hit 100,000 subscribers for like at least another two months. So ultimately I was getting like 400 subscribers a day and we were like 85,000 and so I figured I had some time left to work on the special but unfortunately like after Strain It Deep the entire channel like blew up overnight and so I'm doing like 2,500 to 3,000 subscribers a day now and we hit 100,000 way sooner than I expected and so honestly <laughs> I didn't have time to put anything together. I have no idea what we're going to do to celebrate right now but this video is going to stand in. So instead of a weekend review we're just going to talk about 100,000 subscriber stuff. It's going to be very very short. It's been like a long week for I mean, things have been very, very odd. I mean, it's been hectic around here, you can imagine. So anyways, 100,000 subscribers. What? How did that happen? How did that happen? It seems like I started this channel like two years ago, and it really seems like to me it's gone just like... Psh and like I never expected it to that was never like the point of why I got on YouTube which is why it always surprised me but maybe that's why it happened I don't know I started making YouTube videos I get this question all the time and so we'll start with that as our 100,000 subscriber talk why did I start my channel so we'll start off there I started my channel because I had nothing better to do. I was in college and I was a little bit bummed out because I had to change majors and like a lot of things in life were sort of just like not going so well and I was sort of like second guessing what I wanted to do in most of the aspects of my life. They call it a quarter life crisis, I guess. I don't know. I was at this point in my life where ultimately I started really, really questioning the decisions that I had made up until this point, like the things that I had dedicated to over the last couple of years and just trying to figure out if they were right for me or not. And a lot of those things I decided to take an about face on and change the way that I was like living my life I lost a whole bunch of weight you know I was in like a really destructive relationship I ended that and moved forward in college I kind of just like I, I kind of solidified my decision in college I guess I decided that yeah I am happy with what I'm doing it's gonna be all right everything's gonna be okay and I had like this weird open period in my life where I had really like nothing going on every single day I would get home from college and I would just be like bored out of my mind just kind of like sitting there staring at a wall or like binge watching TV shows and I thought to myself, I used to watch Mathis, and I used to watch C-Nanners, and there was Parky and a couple of other people that I would watch every now and again on YouTube when I wanted to find out if a game was any good. And so that's... I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a Let's Play video. And so I made the channel one night. I didn't make any videos for like five days, but I made the channel. It was there. I put up like a little icon for myself. And ultimately, I started trying to figure out how you could render, edit, record videos. It took a lot of trial and error. I think it took me something like three days to make my first video because I kept messing it up in various ways. So first, I would do the video and it wouldn't work or like the audio wouldn't be right or the audio would only come through one ear and then after I solved that I had frame rate issues and after I solved that you know it was one thing after another and it was learning how to edit I had Windows I think it was Windows Movie Maker when I first started out and then I moved over to Sony Vegas and just like it was a long learning process and ultimately I started doing it just as a time pass that's really all that it came down to is that I started YouTube with the intent of just sort of like passing time and doing something constructive because I knew I had a radio history. I had been on the radio before. I used to be on AM radio and I'd done a number of shows there. I did a heavy metal show for a while. I'd done a lot of like random radio stuff and so I had the training on hand and I was like, you know what, I bet I could translate this and just like hang out on YouTube and just like have fun. I don't know, I play a lot of video games and I basically run a monologue in my head of like sarcastic comments and one-liners anyways. So why don't I just jump up on YouTube and do it there? I mean, it'll be fun, right? And slowly but surely, things took off. I mean, it's it blows my mind right now, though, to think that it's gotten to such the point where it took me almost... Let me think about it. It took me probably about four months to do my first thousand subscribers. And oddly enough, like, the fact that I do, like, 3,500 a day right now, it blows my mind because it took so long to get up, like, that little tiny hill. And so, ultimately, if you're going to do YouTube, I suppose, that would be the point of this. Because people ask me why I got into YouTube... I got into YouTube just to have fun, and I think that's like a really, really good place to start. And then once you get your feet wet and you figure out how to do stuff, then you just kind of like, it slowly turns into just this thing that you do every day as part of your routine. And then all of a sudden, one day it's a job, but next time you look up, you might have 100,000 subscribers too, and that's kind of the situation I'm in. Like, I wouldn't have fathomed when I started that anybody would have ever wanted to like hear what I had to say on the internet or like gave a shit. Like, honestly, it's one of those strange things where I just started doing it, and then it blew up overnight, and it kind of still takes me by surprise every now and again. I sit there and I think about it, and I like hyperventilate for a little while that there's so many people that like watch the thing that I do on the internet, and it's just utterly mind blowing. So I suppose on the it's not the eve anymore. I mean, we've done like 
I'm at like 107,000 right now. I mean, it's going so fast that I don't even know how to get ahead of it at this point. I'm just trying to like treading water. But anyways, I suppose the things that I would say at 100,000 is that first and foremost, I would say thank you to everybody. I mean, I know that's sort of like an obligatory thing that like all YouTubers do because I, I think a lot of YouTubers do it because they feel like they're supposed to or they feel like I think there's a lot of people that aren't really sure like why they're why they're thanking their audience. But for me, it's a very, very honest and genuine thing. Because without the audience, the Nerdcastle would in no way even be a thing right now. I probably, I mean, it started, the ball was rolling very, very slowly when I first started. And I was frustrated with it a lot of the time. And I felt like I wasn't making headway and things weren't getting done. And as kind of like a story for people that are starting up YouTube and trying to like work their way up the chain, hang in there. Because honestly, there are so many days where I've almost hung it up and been like, eh, I'm not going to upload anything tomorrow. I'm just going to like hang out, eat pizza, and watch movies for the rest of the day and just, like, not even care anymore. I just, I can't deal with YouTube right now. And I would say, like, one of the biggest struggles in YouTube is just avoiding that feeling. It happens all the time, too, even now. I mean, I have, like, I felt that way even when I had, like, 60, 70,000 subscribers where some days you just are frustrated with it. But it's amazing to me the way that sometimes I'll have, like, a bad day, like, a really, really bad day where it's not just traffic, it's just everything. Like, everything goes wrong. And it's amazing, like, this symbiotic relationship I have with my channel and my viewers because, honestly, that's why I say thank you is because, like, on my bad days, people will tell you on the Twitch streams, I've been in a bad mood when I've started the Twitch stream and just been like, yeah, let's just get this going. I've had a real rough day. And by the end, I'm laughing and I'm joking and I'm hanging out with the regulars. And we're having a good time. And it's amazing this relationship that I've developed with so many people from all over the world who we've never met in person. And yet through like the comments and through emails and through everything else, they can brighten my day equally as much as I hear that I brighten theirs. And so honestly, I'm kind of like in this perfect situation right now where YouTube has taken off to such an extent that I have a job right now that I very much enjoy. I have, you know financial security which you don't realize like how cool that is until you actually have it like before I started YouTube I was living off like $450 a month like sleeping on a floor with like you know it was just it was nappy it was super super nappy and then like I started just like earning a little bit on YouTube and slowly like life seems to have come together and so that's one of the reasons why I say thank you because honestly I was very close to like rock bottom when I started these things off like things were looking up but YouTube was a big part of just like my recovery process in life and sort of like I guess taking off and like launching and like actually like living life and so frankly it's such a weird 180 turn from where I was two years ago that that's why I say thank you because without the nerd castle without my viewers and without YouTube itself life was just not so good and it's weird how quickly that all turned around over the course of the last couple of years when I wake up it's with a sense of purpose now and you can't put a price on that that's the thing is that like it's hard to wake up every day with things that you just don't care about like I was working in retail is doing things like it's just that drudgery, like folding boxes all day and just doing random stuff where you don't feel like you affect anything. And it's weird how just like something as small as YouTube can blow up and become something huge and like turn your life around in such a profound and just humbling way. And so honestly, I do express my my most humble thanks to everybody for coming in, watching, supporting the channel, for being there when I needed all of you. I mean, there have been just days. There have been days. And I can't tell you how sometimes that email lands on my desk. I read it. And the things that I read just make you feel warm, like all over. You get some kind of like prickle running down your back. And it's just like this person gets it. This person, you know, is in the same situation I was in. And yet they're going out of their way to try and cheer me up and make everything better. And so honestly, I'll give you an explanation for why I say thank you to all of you. Because it is. This is all 100% symbiotic for me. I think that I make people happy and you in turn make me happy. And that's a actually really cool relationship to have on the internet. Additionally... I mean, to those of you, so I guess I would go into this 100,000 special kind of talking about just where you want to go with things, I guess, and just kind of like hanging in there because I get a lot of emails for people who are at a point in their life where they're where I was two or three years ago. I mean, four years ago was even worse when I had my full-on MMO addiction. I was like 220-something pounds, 200 pounds. I was eating all day. I was depressed all the time. I would sleep like 15 hours a day, and then the other like eight hours that I was awake, I would or nine hours, I would just sit and play World of Warcraft all day, every day, whether I was raiding or whether I was doing whatever. I had no life outside of the game because I was just, I didn't like the real world. I didn't want to participate in it. And so YouTube has turned everything around for me, and having gone from that position to the position I'm in now, I suppose that I just want to talk for a couple minutes about, 
you know, hanging in there and how things are not permanent, like things don't last forever. Even my situation right now might not last forever. But when you're when you're at a low point, it can be very, very difficult sometimes to like get your head above water and just sort of like think about the position you're in or even come up with any kind of plan. Because I, I used to wake up and I'd just be like, eh, what's the point about like everything? And then I just log back into World of Warcraft and just keep playing. And that was it. I had maxed out characters. And I think the big thing was that I was somebody in the game and I was like nobody in the real world. So if I was in the game, then like my reputation online like mattered and I had raid gear and I had like PVP rankings and like challenger rankings and other stuff. And like I was important on the server, but I wasn't important in real life. And I think I was using it as a bit of a crutch. And so if you're at a low point right now, my ultimate advice is it sounds kind of like cliche and stupid, but it's just like hang in there. You know, try and see if you can try and see if you can find something to get yourself up and moving. I mean, for me, it was my workout routine. I started off with YouTube and after that, my my workout started going. And ever since, like, I got back into shape and life got a little bit better and I started to have some self-confidence, things started to look up. And it's strange how your mental state can be so completely tailored by the fact that you're not happy about other things. So if I, for example, I'm a person that actualizes through my work very much so and what that basically means is that if my work is not going well my life is not going well and if my work is going really well then i have like these big manic periods that's just how i've always been i've been the sort of person that like whatever my endeavor is at the current moment if it's going well i'm super manic and life is good and if it's not going well my entire life's a wreck and i sit around eating cheetos and rolling on the floor feeling sorry for myself and so because of that it's if you don't have things in front of you to dig you out of that situation like if you're at the bottom, you're not feeling good, you're trying to tread water and just get through, try to come up with a game, like little baby steps, I suppose, would be my advice. So for me, I started running. That was even before I started doing YouTube. I just started jogging every day. And that like gave me the confidence to then do other things, which then ultimately led to YouTube, which is something I never would have even attempted. I severed, you know, there were people that made fun of me for what I started doing on YouTube. And those people, I just had to like set them aside and sort of cut off ties with those people. You know, you had to, I had to tailor every aspect of my life to kind of like get out of that hole. And I started to realize that by nature of my relationships and by nature of just the place that I had left myself, that I had sort of like dug my own hole here. And so by starting to like systematically just like remove these little things, like this person is toxic and everything that surrounds them in my life just gets worse. And so you just have to like start like cutting people out. I mean, that's where you start. And then I started working out and just trying to make things better. And I'm not saying that you should cut off ties with people you actually care about, but you have to identify like the relationships in your life that are purely destructive. You have to identify, you know, the the random habits that you have on a daily basis that are destructive. My mental state was after I at this point, looking back on it, it was completely of my own creation. And I'm not going to say that's how it is for everybody, but that's how it was for me. And the scary thing about a fortress that you built yourself is that you don't know that you built it like you feel like you're trapped inside this weird system that you don't understand but when you get out of it and you look back on it you start to realize that every cobblestone in that thing was placed there by you and so i would say to people that are in a low state right now they're not having a good time in life or you have like just tremendous hardship at the moment just hang in there things do not last forever and i i mean that for everybody from age like 10 on up to 50 i mean it's never too late for something to turn around it's I, like, I honestly, I would have told you that, you know, I lost my music career before I started on YouTube. I lost my radio career. I lost like all these various things that just like spiraled out of control and were just no longer viable as career options. And these were all things that I'd planned to do for my entire life. And once that happened in my mid twenties, I sort of wrote it off and I was like, it's too late. I can't start over now. And that was a mistake. I wasted years just kind of like playing MMOs, being depressed and just like sitting around. And it's embarrassing to look back on but if I can save somebody else from doing that to themselves by giving them a little bit of just like, I don't know, it's like a little bit of a pick me up, you know, just like rub the shoulders a little bit and be like, get out there, champ. You know what I mean? Like, I mean that it does. It's never too late. Like, look at what has happened to me right now. And just know that if you if you start looking at things in your life and you move things around a little bit and you start trying to make positive changes slowly, but surely things will get better. I promise it. It cannot rain all the time. It cannot. I used to think that that period of my life would never end. And that was pretty much from the age of like 22 to like 25, 26. I mean, it was, it feels like a big chunk of my life that I just wasted at this point. But seeing the outcome now, it's nice to know that it was all building towards something and that digging myself out of that hole worked and got me somewhere. And I'm not going to guarantee that everything you try for the rest of your life is going to be incredibly successful. But at the bare minimum, I think that everyone in life deserves to feel confident about themselves, 
I think everybody in life deserves to just have like a healthy mental state towards the world, towards themselves, towards their relationships and the ability to appraise and realize what is destructive and not destructive in their lives and really giving order to just the chaos of life. Just hang in there, hang in there. That's that's that would be really the thing that I would take away from my 100,000 subscriber special today. It's it's a big deal to me what's happened here on YouTube. It's strange the way that people that used to write you off as just kind of like a loser and like a neck beard and like somebody who had nothing going for them. It's weird how that tends to turn around now when I tell people what I'm doing on YouTube and it doesn't last forever. Someday you will look back on that period and be like, okay, it was a dark period, but ultimately I think it made me stronger. It tempered everything. It made me, you know, it, it created the self introspection that I needed in order to succeed at this point in my life, four years, five years later. And so while that period of my life really, really sucked and I honestly wouldn't want to live through it again, I'm able to look back on it with actually almost a little bit of gladness, just knowing that during that period, the coal was being crushed into like, eh, maybe not a diamond. I'm not going to say a diamond because that seems a little prideful, but the coal was being crushed into slightly more compact and more crystalline coal. There we go. I like that a little bit better. I want to leave a little bit of humility in the statement. So yeah, if it happened for me, believe me, I'm nobody. Like that's, that's really, I'm some guy that talks on the internet, like, I eat fatty junk foods. I drink sodas all day, every day. I engage in all the stuff that everybody else in life engages in. And like this weird, wonderful thing has happened here on YouTube. And if it can happen to me, I promise you with hard work, it can probably happen to just about anything because I think about that all the time. Like it's a hard thing to have something like this YouTube channel and to really, I get caught up every now and again, just thinking like, what did I do to deserve this? You know what I mean? Like, Sure, the channel, I worked hard on it, and that's fine, but hard work does not always guarantee that you're going to get what you want. And it's kind of like one of these weird situations where even to this day, my mind is just blown when I think about it. I think about it looking back, and it's such a crazy, incredible thing, and I really don't feel like I deserve it. Like, I don't feel exceptional. I really don't. I feel like I'm just kind of like a normal guy that a whole bunch of weird stuff happened to and rolled downhill, and I firmly believe that if you're at a low spot right now, if you really, like, get back out there, live life, just be positive, project positivity, try not to get bogged down in the normal wear and tear of life. And I think it'll, I think at least it'll raise your chances of things getting better at the bare minimum. I don't want to give people false hope because I've always hated platitudes and like bullshit advice. But really, I think that if you knuckle down or buckle down anyways, and just like knuckle up and really just get in the ring there and just take your knocks, eventually things will get better. I have to believe that they have to get better. Otherwise, that's just how I get myself through my day when I'm having a hard day keep telling myself over and over again, it has to get better. It has to get better. It can't rain all the time. It can't be like this forever. And honestly, I think that that's true. So hopefully this talk has been of help to you. I don't know if I've made any sense right now. I kind of feel like I've been rambling for a little bit. Obviously, this is a little bit of a cop out for a 100,000 subscriber special, but I really, really do want to stress what kind of low period I was at before I started YouTube. Like I was just a mess. I mean, I was a tumbleweed. I don't even really know what else to say. I wasn't living life. I was just merely like floating through it. And it's strange how something like this can give you so much purpose and it can galvanize you and just kind of like give you a reason to get out of bed every morning. I mean, that's really kind of the crazy part about it is that when you when you really actualize through your work like I do, something like this becomes very, very important to you. And I've I've very, very rarely in my life ever had like a thing since music anyways that I was working on that kept me from just like giving into despair. And so... I can't express how much I appreciate having the opportunity and the privilege to make these videos for all of you. It's it's important to me. I know it's important to a lot of you, and I promise I'll be making videos for a long time. Even after they shut the lights off, I'm still going to be here. It doesn't matter. I'll run this thing into the ground. Even if they don't pay me someday, I'll get a job, and I'll continue to make videos. We might have to cut down slightly. I mean, I think the five, four videos a day thing, if I was working full-time, might have to swap. But you know what? I'm not going anywhere. I love YouTube. I love the things that have happened to this channel. I love all of you, to be honest, because you bring me up when I'm feeling low. And so I wanted to express my gratitude and say, hey, we made it to 100,000. There's a lot of things here that make the Nerdcastle incredibly special. I've never seen any other channel like it on the internet. And I say that with the utmost sincerity. The only other channel I've seen that has like the same type of community is Boogie's channel. Like I think Boogie attracts that kind of community as well. And so I'm so tremendously thankful to have just kind of like the really nice, really uplifting, really positive global community that I have here on YouTube. I'm happy that you've all decided to be part of this and never, never doubt 
that the success of the nerd castle is due to each and every person that decides to log on every day check out a video say something nice Leave a like, shoot me an email, all that stuff is fantastic and I very much appreciate it. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but at the end of the day, it is equally as fun for me to do this for all of you as it is for you to watch the content. So I wanted to thank you all. I wanted to address the fact that we had hit 100,000 subscribers. If I had a drink with me right now, I would cheers it and say, hey, let's go for another 100,000. I'm so happy that every day I get to make people happy for a living. Having been in a position in my earlier life where I did things that did not make people happy for a living, like I had a destructive lifestyle for a long time that really did nothing good for anybody, it feels so good to be able to know that I bring happiness to people. It's almost a perfect situation for me, and so I look forward to doing it for as long as possible. I hope as many people as possible become a part of the Nerd Castle because the more people that I can make smile, the happier I am. So there it is. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for helping make the channel what it is. 100,000 subscribers. I'm sorry we're not going to do a weekend review this week, but I wanted to sit down and at least do something formal for the 100,000. Um, I'm not going to tear up. I'm not going to be upset because I'm just like, a, I wasn't, I was, I was sort of raised by a family of like dudes like that were just like, yeah, you get to cry like three times in your entire life. So, you know, you might want to hold on to those. Once you punch the card three times, that's it. You only get three. You only get three. After that, you're not allowed to cry anymore. And so my family's very stoic, and I'm very much like the same way. I just I don't get emotional about things. But believe me, inside my heart feels very, very full right now. And so if by any means I haven't, if I failed to express myself through my words, just know that like as I record this video right now, I feel very warm. My heart's got some weird palpitation stuff going on, but it's been a pleasure. It really really sincerely has and so i look forward to inviting more people to the channel to the veterans thank you for supporting me in the beginning i know that i still have some people here that have been here since i had like 50 subscribers and i can't tell you how amazing that is like i i love that you guys have helped make the foundation of the castle to the newcomers welcome make yourself at home it's my pleasure my privilege to do this for all of you and i think that's it i i wish i had more i really do i wish i had more to tell all of you but honestly I'm, I'm doing my best right now. I'm doing my best. So anyways, I look forward to seeing you all. We'll have a weekend review up. Let's see here. Actually, in February, it's the end of the month, isn't it? Wow, it feels like it was Christmas just yesterday. All right, everybody. If 2015 is not looking so good or if 2014 was not so good, hang in there. I know it'll get better. If you got nobody else in your corner, just be aware that even though I don't know you, I'm in your corner. The emails that I've received over the course of the last two years, like, I read these things and I'm just like, oh man, I'm really pulling for you. I like, I really hope that things get better for you. Things have gotten better for me as a result of all of you. And so I can only hope from my corner that I reflect that same attitude onto you. So I hope you have a wonderful 2015. Thank you for spending your time here with me, old or new viewers. I look forward to another two years of content, another 100,000 subscribers, as many people as we can bring in. And I'll see you all later. 100,000, everybody. Thanks for being here. Bye.